On the virtual cash, Bitcoin continues to impress in the global financial arena. For the first time, a university in the UK has decided to accept the digital currency for tuition fees. That's as the future of the cryptocurrency is being discussed at a conference in Miami. Our correspondent, Very Boring, has been listening to some of the forecasts. And I am here at the 2014 North American Bitcoin Conference. I went to the first ever Bitcoin conference about a year ago. And in one year, the amount of growth in the Bitcoin community is huge. We've seen the number of Bitcoins in circulation increase 14 percent. And the number of Bitcoin transactions per day have increased 25 percent in just one year. I spoke with Nicholas Carey. He is the CEO of Blockchain, which is the world's biggest Bitcoin website. Bitcoin has been growing at an astronomic rate. We say there's an unbelievable migration of human talent and capital moving into Bitcoin. I expect more volatility, but possibly in an upward trajectory. Um, this will be a good thing for everybody, though. More money moving into the space, more attention to it, and greater adoption of Bitcoin. 2014 is all going to be about making Bitcoin more user friendly and having more startup companies to get more consumers involved in the community. So about this time last year, we had maybe 2,000 merchants on our platform accepting Bitcoin. Now we have over 21,000, so about 10 times more in the course of a year. And so I think the trend is going to continue. More and more merchants are seeing the value that Bitcoin can bring to their business. Government regulation is a big threat to Bitcoin businesses. The regulatory environment is unclear, unpredictable, and it's already put a lot of businesses out of business. Uh, regulating Bitcoin, however, would essentially be endorsing it, so there are a lot of governments that are using a hands-off approach. Despite this threat, everyone here seems to agree that the Bitcoin floodgates have been opened and that Bitcoin is here to stay. In Miami Beach, Florida, Perry and Boring, RT. But it's not all rosy for Bitcoin. It's been criticized for being the perfect platform for black market trade. And experts warn it may be a bubble that's about to burst. Jan Bindel from the Institute for Leadership and Sustainability says many people use the virtual currency in protest against the world's banking system. Well, I think young people, many of them are getting into Bitcoin and other types of complementary or cryptographic currency, almost like a, an expression of, of their... Uh, annoyance with the current banking system and the, all these scandals and a perception that not enough is being done. And so it's almost like a protest vote and saying, well, if you're not going to change things, we can do something our own way. Many people are into it for that reason. So I think it, for some people it's a protest. For other people, then it's actually just really helpful. And is it the future? It's certainly part of the future. I call them complementary currencies. I don't think it will bring down national currencies, but it will certainly make us think again about what is money and, and how to make money useful to us in the way it's designed.